Mm. What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Let's see what's going on for Pisces at this time. Oh, timeless reading for Pisces. Let's see. We've got three pentacles in the reverse here. First card out. Y'all falling out of something with somebody. Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups here. And we have five of pentacles in the reverse. All right, Pisces. So we have Ace of Swords. A lot of pentacles energy. Could be done with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Um, then we have Queen of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces. All right. So a lot of y'all could be dealing with a situation um, involving work right now. Work could be maybe some type of work project or something you are trying to get up and running off the ground here. It's like you could be coming out of collaboration with somebody with this three of pentacles. Maybe somebody will come forth to you and let you know they don't want to work with you on something. Or maybe Pisces, you don't want to work with somebody um, on something that you have planned in some way, shape or form. OK, um, three of pentacles in the reverse is just about you know, thinking that you were going to collaborate with someone, but, you know, it just fell apart. It didn't come through. Um, you may be on different, um, you know, terms with people, maybe seeing things from different perspectives. And yeah, somebody is just not on your uh, wavelength and you can no longer work with them. All right. This Ace of Swords energy, somebody could be delivering some sort of message, some sort of truth here. This is going to be very powerful and it's going to start some type of new beginning for you, Pisces, with this Ace. So, we know like aces are the beginning of some sort of new cycle, you know, opening up a new door, a new chapter to step into. And with this ace of swords energy coming in next to three of pentacles, it just lets me know that there could be some sort of communication that leads to maybe um, some sort of work, work related project or I don't know if it's your job or something you were working on with another person or a group of people. Um, yeah, somebody could communicate with you or you could learn some information that's super powerful that um, basically just squashes that collaboration. All right. So I don't know the Queen of Cups here, though. I'm feeling like, you know, either you or someone you're dealing with. This is probably you, though. You have high hopes. You're feeling very compassionate towards something that maybe you are pursuing or someone quite possibly. But, you know, you have a lot of emotions. You're feeling a lot right now. And I can't help but notice like the moon in the background being super illuminated. Um, I just feel like maybe some things that used to be a secret, maybe they're coming out. OK, maybe some things are being shown to you. Maybe it's really opening you up, Pisces, in a in a way that you haven't really known before, all right? There's deep emotions here. There's some sort of um, realization. You know, when, when she looks into this water and sees her reflection, it's almost like she's, you know, she's shown something that she didn't realize before. Or, you know, she feels deeply. It's like it's whoever she, she comes into contact with or whoever makes her feel this way, whatever project she's working on, this is a reflection of her inner beauty. This is a reflection of who she truly is um, and how she truly feels on the inside. So there's going to be some sort of opportunity here, Pisces, where you can, you know, open up yourself emotionally and, and give yourself emotionally, if not to another person, then towards a project, towards something that you're building, something that is going to mirror yourself back to you you know what i'm saying this is a mirror image so it's like if you go towards those emotions if you go towards what you truly and honestly feel genuinely you know you're going to receive that back all right all that love that you give all the compassion you have within yourself pisces you know sometimes it's not reciprocated a lot of the times it's just not reciprocated and it's definitely not reciprocated in the way that you feel it should be, you know, and I feel like what's coming in for you with this Queen of Cups energy, especially next to this Five of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like, yeah, there's been a lot of loss, okay? There's been a lot of loss. There's been a lot of disappointments time and time again with people, with jobs, with with projects, with with money, with family, with everything and everyone you can ever imagine. There's just been so many disappointments, so many letdowns, so many losses, all right? But there is going to be a, a time here coming very, very soon with this ace. It's a new start. It's a new beginning, all right? And this Queen of Cups energy is, is giving me the vibe that you will finally, Pisces, finally, listen to me, 
you're finally going to be giving back what you give others, all right? This will be displayed to you. This will be reflected to you. You're going to to reap those benefits of your emotional strength, all right? All of how you handle yourself emotionally, Pisces, how you have have handled loss, how you have, have dealt with people who have maybe deceived you or, you know, who have done nothing but take from you, who you've fallen out with, people that you're no longer even collaborating with or no longer in, you know, good communication with, you still wish them well, you know what I'm saying? You still have endless, deepless compassion, unconditional, damn near, unconditional, damn near, okay? This is probably the closest, you know, a Pisces can give off that unconditional love and compassion, probably as, you know, the only thing in comparison would be like a a parent-child relationship or some type of family relationship. Pisces has the ability, people with Pisces in their chart, whatever, you have the ability to dig into those emotional depths where you do give off a God-like type of love, where regardless of how someone is treating you, regardless of the circumstances, you can find that unconditional love for somebody even if you don't technically want to be with them in love, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the, the, the unlimited amount of love and compassion and, and just pure emotions that you have shown the world around you, Pisces, it's coming back to you finally. All right. It's going to be a powerful beginning in some way, shape or form. That's going to really allow you to feel what you have given others to feel for so long. Two of Cups in the reverse, all right? So you could be falling out of some sorts. Could be with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you could be, you know, coming to the realization that some sort of, um, like I said, collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles, as well as romance here. Maybe it's just not what you thought it was, all right? This Queen of Cups, maybe you're really, really dwelling um, on a past love, a partnership that you are no longer in. Something that you did have high hopes for, maybe at one point in time it was reciprocal, maybe at one point in time it was, you know, something worth being involved in. But um, currently, you know, this two of cups in the reverse, I just feel like there's loss there and um, there's also acceptance. You know, Pisces, you are accepting whatever comes and whatever goes, you know, whatever comes and whatever fucking goes. So if, it, if something falls apart at this time, you're letting it. You know, in any past partnerships, you're letting that be too. We have the Six of Cups um, upright. So, yeah, this could be maybe you're thinking about strongly coming back into union with this past lover, with um, someone you fell out with, um, collaborating, big um, water energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So I just feel like there's good memories. There's good times. You still hold unconditional, um, you know, love or care, compassion for this person or for this project, whatever you hold dear into your heart, no matter if it didn't work out in, you know, the most recent past, or if there's been some people walking away, maybe, Like I said, things did not work out the way that you thought they would. They didn't come together how you thought they would. You're going to see some truth, some light here, some clues. Um, That's really going to put you on your best best path, Pisces, towards accepting what is no more. All right. And with the six of cups here, you could be walking back into something from your past for sure. But regardless, there is some sort of pleasure here for you. There is some sort of, you know, emotional abundance here for you. All right. Past memories, good memories. And maybe you're trying to create more memories. You know, you want to create memories intentionally to fill you up. And you don't want to always be thinking about this past um, love. All right. Universe in the reverse. All right. So bad luck, you know, bad timing. Um, Pisces has been seeing the world card in the reverse in a lot of our readings most recently. And I think it's just about, you know, letting go of that control, giving, giving the universe that control over what happens with us. Um, and really just accepting that, you know, if there are delays, you let those delays happen. You know, if things fall out, you let the cycles happen how they need to happen. You know, don't force this, don't force any of it. Um, universe here is lets me know this is destined this is destined there's not really much you can do in regards to this situation pisces you kind of just have to let the tables turn you kind of just have to let the time you know go by um and let things play out the way 
that they are divinely meant to play out. All right, so I'm gonna pull some, let's pull a moonology. Let's pull a moonology. This reading, super weird, Pisces. <laughs> Let me know if it resonates for y'all. Expect a powerful change. That just flew out of my hand, all right? So, Pisces, there are changes, you know. It's probably not happening right now, but let's just see. New moon eclipse. New moon eclipse. Y'all know I don't know shit about astrology, so if you know anything about the moon phases right now, please let me know. All righty, so... Special moon cards, of course, because this is a special reading, right? So expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. If you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite, it could be quite a ride, and events now could be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. All right, whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later. A new portal is opening up, and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past. All right, and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. All right, Pisces. So, damn, that was the best message I could ask for right there. Because, you know, it is scary when you feel like you don't have control. You're trying to move forward from the past, hurts, disappointments, pains. But then when you move forward, it's like, ugh, is forward really working out? Not really. You know what I'm saying? So it could be a sense of, you know, giving up, loss, confusion, fear, not knowing what's coming up next. But, you know, have that faith, have that divine knowing in yourself and in God and in the universe that things are working out for your best interest. All right. So, Pisces, I truly hope these messages helped you in some way, shape or form. Please let me know if they did in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.